did is uh, maximizing hip strength for injury prevention. And so our device um, does five different exercises that target non-dominant muscles on um, first isolated strengthening um, to prevent injuries in collegiate athletes here at Dartmouth. So our problem is that we need to transport ice cores from the Arctic back to there while maintaining the temperature gradient throughout the core. Uh, we utilize the thermoelectric effect with Peltier cells to cool down the core or heat it up with heating lamps. Um, and our device will hopefully be used in the field in the future in polar ice research. We created a smoke alarm that has visual indicators that you can tell from far away what's setting off. So there's different colors for different indicators. And then there's a word display on it that tells you what is going off. And then you can also silence it remotely and test remotely so you don't have to get up on a stool push the silence button or like take it apart to see what's going on. So that's our solution to smoke alarms. So originally when you have to portage your canoe, you reach across and you have to swing it above your head. So you first you pull it up onto your knees and then you rock it. You are actually just basically dead lifting 90 pounds of weight. And so what our idea basically relies on the stabilization device and um, we found that with testing that with stabilization, um, users could lift the canoe much higher than they normally could. So you flip the boat over and um, you open up the stabilization device and you lift the canoe and as you're lifting it, the paddles drop down and hold the weight of the canoe. So then you can walk underneath it and then begin your portage over your head.